Before we begin, I just want to note the last time I covered the Officer Tatum, I accidentally called him the Official Tatum. I apologize, that is a mistake on my part. In the same regard, I'm not here to defend the actions that Tatum is criticizing in the video he plays. I think those are age inappropriate from what he shows. Although I do disagree with the characterization of it as grooming. A kid being exposed to something inappropriate for them isn't necessarily grooming. I'm sorry, it's just not. A bunch of kids about a decade ago were playing games like Call of Duty, which were M-rated and therefore inappropriate for them. Was that grooming them into being soldiers for the Allies during World War II? <laughs> Lastly, I would like to thank Blaze the Movie Fan for finding this video and sending it to me. He is awesome, and I hope he gets whatever he wants for his birthday. But when people tell you, oh, they just, just let live and let live and live, and they say that, I always come back to these videos. This is why I always preach it, because I want you to be aware that this stuff is happening all the time, every day. They have a vested interest in doing this and getting these young people involved in this as young as possible, manipulating these kids, parents over-sexualizing their own internal struggles onto these young children. That's why you see the numbers of of children identifying with LGBTQ and stuff is going up. Is it all of a sudden people are now born this way? No, or is it nurtured into the, into the subconscious of these kids? Therefore, they have a new generation of kids they can now take advantage of and who are now dysfunctional. Okay, first off, and this should go without saying, we don't have evidence that watching anything can turn somebody homosexual. This is in spite of the fact that people have been trying to find evidence of this for decades, ranging all the way back to the 1950s, where homosexuality was classified as a mental disorder under the assumption, which was later debunked, that it stemmed from abuse at the hands of a maternal figure in a young boy's life. With that said, I should note that if I bought into the notion that environment can change your sexuality, let's remember the times that we used to have. Brandon Tatum says the rate of people who are LGBT has exploded in the past couple of years. Well, 20 years ago, there were parts of this country where consensual homosexual sex was illegal, and same-sex marriage has only been legal nationwide for a little less than a decade. You look at the explosion of these rates and see evidence of some kind of conspiracy. I look at them and, if anything, see evidence of a lack of a conspiracy. For the first time, people have been really allowed to express who they are. And because of that, more of them are saying that they are LGBT. That just seems more likely than literally the exact same old homophobic claim made against LGBT people actually being true this time for real guys, trust me. 